unless you were only studying for last one month. Did not read newspaper, did not touch your mobile or did not watch any good news channel. Chances are high that you already know what CUET is. But still there is some possibility that you do not know everything around it. So in this video, we shall cover different aspects around CUET so that there is absolute clarity in your minds about the same. Before we begin, I'd like to inform and you'll be happy to know that this is a new dedicated channel from OneFin by Indigo Learn for CUET. So please consider subscribing it. We shall post a lot of good content and if you like this video, do like and share but only after you watch it. Firstly, CUET stands for Common University Entrance Test. The test has been introduced for admission into all the undergraduate programs of the central universities. You will ask which are these universities? Well, these are the ones established by an act of parliament and you can see the list here. The list is long but you will already knew few of them like BHU and then there is Jamia Millia and the famous one being University of Delhi. And besides central universities, there are some other universities which have voluntarily decided to take their admissions based on CUET score and these include Bennett University, BML Munjal University and then there are Galgotia's University. The list you can find on the CUET website. Now coming to the examination scheme, uh, the mode of examination that is how will the exam be conducted, this would be computer based test. Remember not from your home but from the examination center which would ideally be based in your city or adjoining cities. We will discuss about this when we will be discussing about the program form for the CUET. Now coming about the pattern of question paper, it's objective type MCQs so that would give you some solace and test design. So the overall test has been divided into three sections. Section 1 consists of languages, section 2 is 27 domain specific subjects and section 3 is general test. In list 1A, they have given 13 languages which include English, Hindi, Malayalam, Telugu, Punjabi. And in list 1B, they have given other languages which could be Arabic, German, Japanese, Kashmiri. The list of 27 domain specific subjects include Accountancy, Agriculture, Business Studies and History, Home Science, Legal Studies, Physical Education, Maths. Now please don't get confused that in the CUET test you will be tested on all these subjects. It, this isn't the case. You will have to take the test only for the subjects which you have studied in class 12. And also it would be based on the university and the course which you are seeking admission into. So let me give you an example. So this is an eligibility criteria for admission into BCom honors in DU that is Delhi University. Now what the DU bulletin mentions is candidates must appear in CUET in any of the following subject combinations. So they have given a choice but the choice is one language from list A. This list A is nothing but section 1A and 1B which we just read and then they have given option of maths and any two subjects then they have given details about those subjects which they say is at least one subject from list B1. Now again not to get confused this B1 is nothing but they have divided the 27 subjects into two lists B1 and B2. B1 would be the major subjects like accountancy, business studies, economics while B2 would include the subjects which are generally optional like physical education, fine arts. So they have what the criteria says is you should take one language from list A, maths or any two subjects at least one from list B1. Let's say you take accountancy and business studies or you can take accountancy and anything let's say physical education from it. Or the second option also includes one language from list A that is again it could be English generally English or if you have studied Hindi also you can consider either of it and plus accountancy and any two subjects at least one from list B1. So they have given a priority to list B1 as I mentioned these, this is the list of major subjects that you study in class 12. So merit will be based on the best CUET scores obtained from any of the above mentioned combinations. So you can take one language accounts plus two subjects, one language maths plus two subjects and then whatever the best combination works out based on that your admission into UG program would be considered. 
Now talking about the syllabus, questions from the language section will be from the following topics but not limited to. So they've given a general uh, English syllabus. It would not include your literature syllabus which you study in class 12. This is like reading comprehension which would be based on factual, narrative and literary. Then verbal ability, rearranging the parts, choosing the correct words, synonyms and antonyms, vocabulary. If you see or if you are aware of the common aptitude test which take place in the country, the syllabus is similar to that. Now coming to section 3 which is the general test and remember as we were reading BCom honors criteria of DU it did not mention anything on general test. So for BCom honors in DU you are not required to take general test but we will make up an, another video exclusively on DU which would mention for different specific courses like BCom, BMS what are the eligibility criteria that they have mentioned. There you will see that a general test for some courses is also prescribed. So it is up to you on which course you are focusing but to increase your chances, to increase your scope, it's better that you take general test in addition to language and domain specific subjects. Now coming back again to general test labels, it's again based on the current affairs. If you are already reading newspaper, you will be comfortably positioned. But if you are not, I think it's good time that you start reading it from now. So for general test, the criteria would be based on general knowledge, current affairs, mental ability, numerical ability, quantitative reasoning which is basically till grade 8. And then there would be logical and analytical reasoning. So you see for language and general tests, the syllabus is little generic in nature. You need a good amount of MCQs to practice this. Now coming to language specific, the major issue, the domain specific subjects, the syllabus of which you can find on CUT website. You will see for accountancy, biology, business studies, everything you will get the syllabus. Just to give you a snippet, for accountancy, the syllabus mentioned is accounting for not-for-profit organization, partnership, Reconstitution of partnership, dissolution of partnership, share capital and debentures, financial statements, statement of changes in financial position which is nothing but cash flow uh, statement and analysis of financial statements would include ratios. Now this is class 12 syllabus but as I mentioned the pattern is MCQ so you'll need good amount of MCQs to practice for the same. Now I'll walk you through some other important information that would be relevant for you. So the examination has been divided into two slots, slot 1 which is morning session and the slot 2 would be in the afternoon. In slot 1 you can take one language out of the main list which we discussed about, it could be English or Hindi and then there could be two domain specific subjects let's say accountancy or business studies and then the third specific subject or maths would be in the afternoon slot. So you can choose any two and then the third which you can choose is the general test. Now please note general test can only be taken in slot 1, you cannot take this in slot 2. Uh, there would be options, there would be internal choice like out of 50 you need to attempt only 40. Each question would be a 5 mark but yes remember there would be a negative marking. So you cannot do tukka wise. So 5 marks for every correct answer but for every wrong answer minus 1. And if you do not attempt it or leave it for review you will get 0. Now coming to afternoon slot 2. So in case you have studied two languages, let's say English also and Hindi also and you want to take an additional language just to increase your chances of admissions, you can take that second language and the other 20 languages which we discussed in slot 2. Then the remaining domain specific subjects, if you took accountancy business study in slot 1, now you can take economics, maths or physical education in slot 2. Again same 40 questions to be attempted out of 50 and 200 would be the total marks because each question carries 5 mark but negative marking of minus 1. This is the fee payable while you will be filling up the form we will have a separate video on the same uh, you will need this information just to have some broader idea of how much money that you need to pay for general category students for slot 1 it's 650 for OBC it's 600 for SCST 550 so they have given the split we will discuss this in a separate video. Now last very important the timeline the timeline 6th May remember this date 6th May remember 6th May that's the last date for your form application filling of CUT no matter which board you are studying you need to know your date sheet but for CUT you need to fill the form by 6th May and when I say 6th May please 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 don't make it in the last day kindly consider filling the form by May 1 or May 2 at the max so 6th April was the date when the form opened 6th May is the last and they have given the last time as well 5 pm don't consider you will wait till 12 
in the midnight and you can fill the form that would not be the case so 5 pm by 5 you will have to fill the form for fee submission they have given in case there's some transaction failure you can consider filling the form by 11:50. but again one may second may that's the max you should fill the form and as of now the test is scheduled for first and second week of july more details are awaited we let you know when they come in and then there are two slots they have mentioned the timings for each slot uh, 9 a.m to 12 15 p.m and 3 p.m to 6 45 p.m so you will need to stay afresh throughout the day and this majorly is an important website for you to refer everything that i discussed in this video is based out of this website so you can go search and explore this website the syllabus which i mentioned you can get uh, to see there that's it for this video do like and share this if you like it and as i mentioned this is a dedicated channel so we'll come up with a lot of good videos next would be up on du the admission criteria for delhi university so until then keep studying for your class 12 boards if you think they don't matter now you are partially correct partially wrong uh, class 12 boards do carry some weight especially when you will be going for masters or other universities which base their admissions on class 12 marks so until then, I'll take your leave. Please keep studying hard. All the best.